So the Cleveland Cavaliers are a team that is absolutely loaded with talent, but they've had some trouble with different things like spacing and shooting, and they've definitely lost a ton of winnable games. The Cavs have also had some lingering injury problems early on this season with guys like Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, and Dean Wade being out for extended periods of time. But one player that we have all been forgetting about that was one of the main reasons for the Cavs success last year that has been out for a full year and is finally coming back is Ricky Rubio. Rubio really was a catalyst last season and brought that veteran experience and leadership to the team in a way that not many players can. So in this video, I'm going to be talking all about the return of Ricky Rubio and why it is a much bigger deal to this Cleveland Cavaliers team than you would think. Before I begin, now since we are halfway through the NBA season, I'm going to be pumping out so much content for you guys, so I would really appreciate all of your support. It only takes 5 seconds to like and subscribe, plus you can always change your mind. I'm now on the road to 10k subscribers, and I know you all can help me get there very fast, and by the way, thank you all for getting me past 7k, it truly means the world, and we are just growing super fast right now. So just recently, the Woj bomb came in that Ricky Rubio will be making his return from his ACL injury against the Trailblazers, and that is just some great news to hear because the Cavs have been struggling a lot on the road, and there's some guys that have been struggling big time that I feel Rubio can help get their confidence back. Last year, Rubio had such a great connection with Kevin Love, and once Ricky got hurt halfway through the season, it was almost like Love was a completely different player in a bad way. Right now, Kevin Love couldn't make a wide open shot even if his life depended on it, and I'm honestly starting to feel bad for the dude. I know he really wants to be in Cleveland and contribute to winning, but from what I've seen, he just can't make shots anymore, he's too old to play defense, and all he does is try to take charges that barely even get called anymore. He's almost unplayable at this point. So hopefully now that Rubio is back, Love can get back to the player that he was at the beginning of last season, and I believe it's definitely possible. Not only was Kevin Love benefiting from Rubio as the backup point guard last year though, as even Darius Garland was being mentored from him, and at some points of last season, Rubio even started next to Garland. I've heard some people say that there's no chance Rubio is going to be the same player that he was before his injury, which is just ridiculous. Obviously, maybe he lost whatever athleticism he had left in the tank, but the way he plays doesn't rely on much lateral movement, he is just the crafty old guy who finds a way to score and get his teammates involved. And with the way current technology is, players are able to fully recover from injuries almost every time now. Last season, Rubio was averaging career highs of 13.1 points per game and 6.6 .6 assists per game. Nobody really saw that coming, but this season, if Cleveland could even just get 8 and 5 out of him, I think everyone would be happy. It's just so good to see this Cavs team finally start to get healthy because I think it's obvious the potential they have, but they just need to start getting things figured out on the road. They're also probably going to need to make a trade to get some shooting because with guys like Karis LeVert, Stevens, Wade, and even Kevin Love right now, shots are just not falling, but we will see if Rubio can revive some of these players. Let me know in the comments below what you are most excited for now that Ricky Rubio is finally back, and also let me know who you think the Cavs should make a trade for. That's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to continue to pump out as much content as possible for you guys, so I would really appreciate it if you would join me for the ride. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll see you all later.